Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who enjoyed the little kids up here singing? Amen. That is, that is the foundation of the world. The two little guys. We've got to show them Jesus Christ and show them, tell them that gospel. They can spread it on for the next 70 to 80, even maybe 100 years. Out of the two right there. Is everybody ready to come in here now and worship the Lord and praise the Lord in songs? Amen. 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 Maybe even raise your hands up a little bit and stand up for them. Amen. And remember, when we worship, we're doing it where we can get our blessings down from heaven because it's what we're supposed to do as believers is to worship. If anybody has any prayer questions, raise your all's hands. If anybody has any special ones, we can we have a little time. We can do that if we have to. Thank you.
a better net, I thank God that we need your prayer. Yeah. Read that in the red book.
We went into something that the world has never known before. We went into something today that today the people of the world, the, 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 the non of the world of today cannot grasp what has went on. We have got back into the form of, of life that we need to get out of and get into the spiritual realm of God again. We've got to get back into it. And if you've got your Bibles, I want you to turn to me in the, in the book of Galatians, the fifth, the fifth chapter of the book of Galatians. And now listen to, listen to this real close. And, and I want you to listen to the, to the words that I'm fixing to, I'm fixing to read to put to you. Right now, Paul was speaking. He said, Stand fast, set forth, and the liberties wherewith Christ has made us free. What is the liberty that Christ has made us free in? I'm going to tell you, it's not nothing in the natural, but it's something in the spiritual that you're free today. You know what? You may look at me today and you say, that guy cannot be, you can, did you know you can be perfect in the, in the sight of the Lord? You say, you know, you can't. I can't be perfect, but the spiritual realm of God can be perfect in the sight of God. Whenever the spiritual realm of God begins to work in you, and then it begins to show out, you know why it's going to be perfect? Because there's only one way that God can be seen through us is through what? Through His Spirit. And it's through His Spirit. And what is God's Spirit this morning? Somebody give me the definition to God this morning. God is love. Whenever then we begin to love one another, we begin to give our, our love to one another. It's not nothing physical that is going to show that love. It's going to come from something deeper than the physical realm. It's going to come from the spiritual realm of God that you begin to feel the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost that is set for that makes us free and we have the liberty of it this morning and we don't understand what it is that God has given us and we sit back and we get ourselves drawn back into the old physical ways and the Spirit of God can't move if we get into that place. Now listen to what it says. Behold, I call, saying to you, that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. Now let's just wait just a minute. You say that now we're going to, we're each going back into the natural He's back, he back into the natural. What was that? Was one of the customs of the day. Eight days old. That was one of the customs of the day. When you was eight years old, eight you were circumcised. Eight days. Eight days old. You were circumcised. That was one of the customs. Now see, whenever that we go back, I'm back into the old things that we always been taught. Now look out. Now look out now. Listen to me this morning. We have been taught so many so much stuff. We have got brought it in. See the priests and the, and the Pharisees, they went every day seeking for something where they could write a new law about something. And when they got through before Jesus came and where the law was put out no more in effect, they had come up with 400, how many, somebody kept with 430 something laws that they had put into effect that was of none effect, none whatsoever, because the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ moved them clean to one side, and we became what? These, Paul said, stand fast therefore, and the liberties wherewith Christ has made us free. We're not under the law anymore. No right. We're free. Right. We're free. We're not under we're not. Now we're going to go on this for the fun. Behold, I Paul say unto you, that if if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is dead to do the law, whole law. Woo! Look out. You're going to keep any of it, you better keep it off. Whenever you go around and you're telling people, you got to do this, you got to do that, because Grandma done it and Grandpa done it. I'm telling you right now, you're getting away from the spiritual realm of God and getting into the natural. And why do we want to go back into bondage? Listen to what I'm telling you. Then you go back under bondage 
and there's people that is walking out there today that feel like that they have got it all and nobody else has got it anything and they're under bondage because they cannot get into the spiritual realm that God has given us. They have got out of the liberty and the freedom that we have and they've got into something that is beyond belief and they do not know the spirit of God. Come on now. Now I know this is probably not going over very good to some people that is serious today on YouTube. But I'm going to tell you today, we've got him too involved with ourselves. And we've put the Spirit of God out to one side. And God cannot work in the church no more. God cannot move in the church no more. Why? Because we have got out of the liberties that God has set us free of. And we go right back into bondage. Come on, let's get out of bondage. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness in faith. It didn't say for we and they under the law wait for this, wait for that. What did it say, Brother Daniel? It said that what? Through the Spirit. The, through the Spirit of God. See, we, we, get, we get so entangled in everything else except what we need to get entangled with. We need to get our minds on the Spirit of God. Well, you know what? When we come to church at night, when our day or whenever it is that you come into the church, uh, this is the house of the worship. You know what you need to do when you walk through that door back there? You need to come in uh, with a spiritual mind. Uh, leave everything else that the devil right. is from you and push it behind you and let it go. Uh, you know, we was talking this morning about Lot's wife. Uh, why did she look back? Uh, why did she look back? Uh, because of the possession uh, that she had in in, 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 in Gamar. Why? Because whenever we come into the church uh, and we look back at everything and bring everything that is behind us into that church and don't have a spiritual mind, I know what you're going to do. You're going to come in. You're going to take your seat. You're going to sit there and whenever people begin to worship, you're not going to worship because you're looking back into Sodom and Gomorrah. You Amen. need to get out of that and get your mind on the spiritual realm of God and what happened on the cross. And when you begin to do that, then God will begin to bless you and you'll begin to give your God and praise and the honor that He has got coming to Him. That's right. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost this morning. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Love. Hallelujah. That faith which worketh by love. I preach this all the time, and, and I guess if I die tomorrow, they say he went down preaching this. God is love. love. Amen. Amen. God is love. Whenever they were in the spiritual realm, you're not going to get into the spiritual realm. God is a spirit. And the Bible says God is a spirit, and no man has ever seen God. Okay? That's what the Bible says. But you know what? Today that we're living in, whenever Jesus was on this earth, and I said it a while ago, he came here for 33 years. He was in the flesh. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. For 33 years that happened. But after 33 years, that flesh went away. You say, oh no, Jesus didn't go away. He didn't have that fleshly body whenever he walked through the wall. And he said to the disciple, you know, don't fear. It's me. Hallelujah. It's me. Yes. That wasn't the flesh. That was the spirit of God. That's right. That same being that walked through that wall. He says that he went away to sit at the right hand of the Father. Yes. The Father being the Creator. That's right. The Creator of all things. He's the Father of it. Yes. 
now. Now, but us for God to show his love anymore. See, this is the thing that people have got away from. They went back to their bondage. They can't hold on to the thing called love. God is love. The only way that God's going to be seen on this world today, and I preach it so many times, you all heard me say, you're not going to see a burning bush that don't burn, don't burn up. You're not going to see a cloud. You're not going to see somebody hit a rock and water is going to come pour out of it. You're not going to see it. Do you hear me this morning? You're not going to see it. But if you want to see the movement of the work of God, you let somebody stand up and begin to worship God. And you'll begin to feel that. And you'll begin to see the movement of God. As you begin to see that, then God begins to show himself in amongst his people. And today we cannot have that because people do not understand what God is. We've got to do so. What did Paul say? Stand fast, therefore, in the liberties wherewith Christ has made us free. Wherewith Christ has made us free. Yes. I mean, he's free this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. How many feels free this morning? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you feel free this morning, you know what you've got? You're going to have to get into the spiritual realm of God and begin to worship Him right now. Hallelujah. Begin to worship Him and to tell Him how much you love Him. Begin to worship Him and tell Him, God, I appreciate because you took that cross and you packed it as far as you could. I appreciate it because you gave it that sacrifice that was made. I pray, thank you, God, this morning because you was that sacrifice. Amen. We're not under bondage. Yes. We're not under bondage. And you know, a lot of people live under bondage. But we're not under bondage no more. We're under the liberty and the freedom that Jesus Christ gave us through his death, through grace in him. We have the freedom yes. and the movement yes. of the Spirit of God. All we got to do is show him that we appreciate it. You know what? When we get up and we begin to worship Him, we begin to show Him how much we appreciate what it is that He's done. We will show Him how much we appreciate Him for what it is that we have in our life today. Hallelujah. Don't you love Him this morning? Do you love God? God is love. God is love. What did He say to us? The great commandment was love thy neighbor. Love the Lord thy God. With all your heart, with all your mind, and, and with all your soul. soul. Amen. And God be your neighbor as your soul. Oh, Hallelujah. That is something right there. Whenever we can take the great commandment and we can live by that, I'm going to tell you something this morning. If we do, we can move forward in the spiritual move of God. God can move in the spirit through us. We're here. We're natural. God made us. We're here. God intended for you to be what you are. Amen. It would be a sad world if everybody was the same, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Ever thought about it? Wouldn't everybody out there want to look just like me? I see a lot of head shaking the whole. What if everybody was alike the very same time? Everybody had the same thought. Everybody looked the same. No. <laughs> Thank God we're not under bondage. Amen. Thank God that we know. And I'm going to preach this as long as I have breath in my body to preach it. Amen. God is love. Amen. It's through the Spirit of God that He can be seen in the world that we're living in right now. I've heard people testify how that they went into Walmarts, how they went into places, and how that they begin to testify and talk to people about God. That is love. Right. How that they begin to pray for people in the, in the Chinese restaurant. How they begin to pray for people. And you know what that shows? That shows the love Amen. of God. Amen. How can God be seen Unless we do what it is that God tells us to do. Right. We can't 
We can't show God unless we do it. So many times, God will work through us whenever that we don't realize that He's working. He has to to be saint for people to know who God is. Don't you love Him this morning? Amen. Aren't you glad this morning that you can be a vessel for God? Amen. Amen. The little song that I used to, that people used to sing, or the kids used to sing. I can't even remember it right now. But that song was so meaningful. Jesus loved me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are we. But it's strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. If we don't understand the spiritual name of God, because this Bible is spiritually Discern. When you go to put in all the other stuff and you begin to try to wind wind it around the spiritual realm of God, you know what you're going back? You're going back under the law. And whenever you do that, if you take any part of the law, you've got to take the whole time. Nobody will be saved under the law. The old law. Amen. It can't be. Because if you do that, then you deny the cross. That's right. And if you deny the cross, he said, I will deny you before the angels in heaven. I'm going to say this and I'm going to close. God is love. Don't you love him this morning? Amen. Amen.